There has been a lot of speculation about whether vaccine passports will become common. Right now, North Carolina House Republicans are calling on Governor Cooper to reject attempts to create them. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Moores takes a closer look at the issue. The COVID-19 vaccine is bringing hope that life will soon look more normal. It's leading to talks of vaccine passports showing proof of COVID-19 vaccination will be necessary going forward. And I don't think that there should be any type of a medical procedure that we're going to require anybody to have in order to freely move about the United States of America. 65 North Carolina House Republicans signed this letter to Governor Cooper saying vaccine passports raise serious privacy and legal concerns. Representative Keith Kidwell filed legislation that would prevent any venue from not allowing people to enter due to vaccination status or other medical procedure. You know, next year, do we say, OK, you have to have a flu vaccine or, you know, you have to take an aspirin to come in this building or, uh, you know, do I have to go have a nose job? You know, I don't know. Where, where does that end? Vaccine passports also bring up concerns about equity and violation of civil liberties. There is a lot of concern around any vaccine passport uh, and any processes that would open up the floodgates for potential violations of privacy. I think the focus right now should be making sure that people have an equitable access to the vaccine. Governor Cooper dodged questions earlier this month asking for his stance on vaccine passports, saying this. We think that anybody who wants to get uh, a record of their vaccine should be able to get that record. State leaders only encouraging more people to get the vaccine at this point as North Carolina looks to lift restrictions. And if you have questions about the vaccine, text the word vaccine to 704-329-3600. We'll send you a link to our coverage, including answers to frequently asked questions.